Okay, so we're up to um, deputations by appointment. We'd like to welcome the Hornby Community Care Trust, who will speak on item 15, the consultation report on the future operations options for the Hornby Library. There you go. Welcome. Go in the middle. You got me in the middle. <laughs> He's the thorn with the roses, okay? <laughs> Just in case there was any confusion. That's the mug, I think, more, more likely. <laughs> Mr Mayor, Councillors, good morning and thank you thank for the opportunity for having us here. As mentioned, my name's Bob Shearing and I'm here as Chair of the Hornby Community Care Centre. With me is Araha Bishop, my Deputy Chair, <coughs> Linda Turner, who is the Community Centre Manager, and in the back row we've got uh, Sarah Brunton, the Trustee, and Mark Duff, who I think you all know. Um, just before I just get into, this is just a thank you for, for all the work that's been done really, but I do just want, Mr Mayor, thank you very much personally for the letter of uh, recommendation. I continue as a, uh, a council appointee to the Rick and Bush Trust. I appreciate and the, the council committee, thank you for, for that confidence. We've, as you know, we've got a big project there with the uh, <coughs> Bush Enhancement Project, a ecological and cultural program. That's very important for the city, so thanks for that that reappointment. Will be my last, I hope, but um, we'll see how we go. <laughs> um, big thank you to everybody that's been involved in getting the, the new Hornby swimming pool and library up and running, and well, almost up and running uh, it next next month. Um, I, um, after the closing of the Sockburn pool in 2002, I was elected to this table in 2005 on a commitment that I'd do all I could to get a pool in Hornby. In 2008, with the support of the Mayor, Bob Parker at the time, fellow council, councillors and Yarni, where's Yarni? Yarni was around the table at the time. Um, we got it in the budget at that stage. Of course, as we all know, the earthquake came and upset things, but with the community support and council support, uh, Councillor Chen got it back in the budget in 2013, and so now finally, we are starting to look forward to our new building. Um, so yes, really, I just after 22 years after the Sockburn Pool closed and all the few haul that went on with the local community at the time, we're now going to have a pool in, in Hornby. So thank you very much for, to everybody in this room and wider for, for the work that you've done to have that there and we look forward to seeing that working. Of course, the, the new pool included a, a replacement library. And ever since we've all known about that, we've all had a bit of a dream. Mm -hmm. And um, that, that dream to be able to take over that building one way or another over the years to how, how that might be done. And, and have the expanded community centre. And now with the support of the staff, you have a final recommendation in front of you which will allow that to happen, hopefully. Can I just thank, take this time to thank Angus Smith? I don't think Angus is in the room, but Angus has done a huge amount of work um, to get this done, and I'm sure he's going to be glad not to have me bleating in his ear every month wanting okay. to know what's going on. <laughs> um, also, I want to thank John Purcell, and John's here for the work that he's done, Matthew up behind, Matthew Pratt behind us, Jess Garrett, Bailey Patterson, and all the staff who have been involved in getting this report finally, the final report in front of you. So thank you to all the staff. Uh, some like John and Angus go right back to when I first started talking about it back in the 2000s, so it's great. As Mr Mayor and Councillors, really that's all we're saying um, and you know, assuming that you adopt the recommendation in front of you and we've not heard any, anybody talking differently, we as a team out in Hornby can assure you that the Hornby community is going to be so much better off for having this expanded centre. Trust members and the manager are hugely excited about the many opportunities that new space is going to give us. And uh, the community is going to benefit from all this work. So thank you all for everything you've done. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. And, um, um, and congratulations for your presentation. Very clear. Now, we have got time for some questions, but it's only on item 15, not on the funding aspects yep. for item 16. So has anyone got any questions? Councillor Peters. Thank you. And thank you, Bob and team, for coming and speaking to us today. 
and um, your clear presentation through your business plan. Um, so are you able to just quickly, I guess for the sake of those that are watching today, to run through a little bit of, of what you're proposing for this um, uh, new space? Yep, for the expanded side of the centre. Um, so when we realised this was going to happen, um, we went out to community, um, did community consultation. We felt that was really important because we, oh, we've always seen this as a community asset. Um, got 714 responses, and that's from we went into the high schools and talked to high school students. We sat outside malls and even help, I even helped a 86-year-old um, fill out a paper copy so she could have her say. So we really went to great lengths to see what our community wanted. Um, from there, we've developed a site plan where I, I feel very strongly we have taken into consideration the needs of the community. Um, and so that is, A, to have a, a bigger community space for workshops, meetings, events. Um, there's very limited spaces in Hornby that are affordable mm -hmm. and accessible. So part of the library is going to be that. Um, we uh, Part of the, the library is also going to be set up as more of a designated um, health and wellbeing hub. That, um, that was very highlighted in the consultation that that's what our community wanted. Again, affordable and accessible health services. We already have quite a few of those services in the centre, but we're juggling offices, we're at over capacity. So that will be a dedicated space. We like family planning, um, before school checks with public health nurse. I'm in discussions at the moment with Pegasus Health to actually provide a um, mental health service, a free mental health service with health coaches and health practitioners. Um, <coughs> There will be other office spaces that can available for hire for organisations and services to use. There will be an innovation space for crafting and things like that, and a small, hopefully a small community cafe, um, which will help to bring in. Um, we know there's a lot of isolation in our community. We have a lot of older adults. We also have a lot of. Um, migrant community and especially migrant women um, who their husbands are working, their children are at, off to school and they're sitting at home and don't know how to engage in their community. So that's where we're, we're heading and I'm very excited and I'm pleased that um, you have seen our community and you've seen the needs in our community to allow this to go ahead. So thank you very much. I'm very excited. Thank Excellent. You. Thank uh, you. Coun Councillor Cotter. Thank you. This is really exciting. Um, can I recommend, if you have not already, perhaps to make contact with the Shirley Community Trust? Because when you mentioned the Wee Cafe, they have one in their little centre and they... Um, they teach barista, train baristas that's for okay. employment. And that's they have exactly what we're going to do. Yes. Yeah, so if you want any tips there, they've, they've got a very successful program yes. there and it really works. And they've, they had a lot of isolation in the community and they've managed to get people out. And it's these centres that you're doing that, that actually do that. So No, I'd definitely I'll connect and with them. And good on you for taking it on. It's not going to be an easy journey, but um, you know, I really, right. really congratulate you for doing it. If I may pick up on that, I think... While it's been a long journey to get to this point, we know the work's only just starting. <laughs> our our, our centre is bulging at the seams and that's been a challenge for the last four or five years since the Heartlands closed down the road. Um, but to, to, while, yes, there's some work to do on the building to get it fit for purpose, but we've got a lot of work to fit it out and make it fit for, for what we want to do. So that, that's just going to be ongoing for the next four or five months. I think Angus, when Angus, Angus indicated to me that the handover would be the 1st of July, so we're looking forward to that date. So, again, thank you. Thank you very much, and I thank you for your presentation. I wish you every success. Thank, thank you, Mr Mayor. <laughs> Good on you. Right. So, we have uh, item four. I have no received no petitions. Uh, can I get a mover and seconder to confirm the open minutes set out in items five and six? Councillor Peters... Move and Councillor Scander at second. All those in favour? Against? Thank you. That's carried.